I, you know, the most exciting thing right now is we're get, getting original, creative, uh, diverse storytelling out there because of streaming services. I am a the, I'm a movie nerd. I love going to cinema. I love going to see um, Roma in cinema. But at the same time, without someone like Netflix putting the money out there, and, and you would never see a film like Roma anymore because you know we're, we're having this conversation about Spielberg constantly and what he's saying with the Academy. And I would I would wish that someone like Spielberg, with as much money that he's made over the years, would support independent filmmaking. And I think with someone like him, and this is a dangerous route to go on, but I'm, a, just, I'm on a limb here, he's going to make Ready Player One. Great movie, he's a great filmmaker, but that has a huge IP. That's not an original creative voice. He's going to, what, make West Side Story next? Yeah. I mean, that's a huge IP. That's not an original creative voice. Why doesn't he prop up these young independent filmmakers, especially some from a diverse background? You think about what Coppola said now, it must have been 20 years ago, he said the future of film is some girl in her garage in Ohio and it's gonna be made so that and I, I'm going to be that girl in his in her garage in Ohio, in Maine, um, <laughs> in the fields, on the barns, and by the river. But but anyone, it's it's become possible for anyone to make a film. And film festivals, having sprung up everywhere in the in the wake of great film festivals like South by Southwest, are making it possible for them to get seen and then have a little springboard upon which they can get. Um, go viral if, if they're good enough. And you look at people like Bo Burnham. I mean, he started off as a YouTube sensation, and his film Eighth Grade was phenomenal. It was incendiary. And, like, he, I mean, here, here it is about an eighth grade girl, and, and I'm watching it with my wife, and I relate so much to the character. I relate so much to the film. And she and I, my wife and I, just had like a two hour conversation about the movie afterwards, about our, our own experiences in, in middle school, about how beautiful the film was, how incredible it was that a first time director, a YouTuber, you know? And it's, I, I think, you know, nowadays there's such a, an, an amazing ability for creatives to put their work out there. It would be great if some of these big studios were to support them and, and to take risks like they used to. No kidding. I mean, I, I realize I grew up in the golden age of, of independent filmmaking when five to six million dollars was a typical budget for an independent film. And now a movie is either a hundred and ninety million dollars or it's five hundred thousand dollars. And it's just absurd. They, they, they've got to start supporting these films so that yes, we can make them on a shoestring. But they're going to be in playing in a theater and competing with something that is a, you know, a, a trillion times more uh, money invested into it. And I, I think it really would be great if some of these companies that do profit looked and picked a dozen filmmakers to support the following year just to see and seed and get new growth happening. Because Especially if they want to prop up the movie theater industry. If you're Mr. Spielberg, if you want the movie theaters to have the big films, invest in the filmmakers that are telling amazing original stories. You're really going after Spielberg here. Yeah, I just want to say I'm kidding. He went after like, the streaming services where the only people that make uh, unique yeah, storytelling these days. That. I mean, I, I, I love Marvel Walter films. Stevens. I really do. I love watching uh, the big superhero movies. Um, but I also want a platform for 8th grade. I want a platform for Roma. I like, I, and, and then to, to knock them down because they're on a streaming service, that, that to me is... It's a little antithetical to an, to an artist, you know?